What is up guys, it's HD Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about the new system that has been recently introduced in Pokemon Go. Welcome to the appraisal system. So as you guys might have known, there are certain hidden mechanics of Pokemon Go that weren't technically available to us unless we went and signed into a third party application which told us which Pokemon is stronger. There are three factors to a Pokemon's individual values in this game. It's split between its attack, defense, and stamina. Obviously the Pokemon games that were from Nintendo, there were other individual values or IVs you can call it, such as speed and special attack which currently aren't in Pokemon Go. Each IV is a value from 0 to 15 that describes how proficient the Pokemon is in that category. Then these stats are put together into a percentage. The total amount of points you have is 45, and the percentage is determined by adding up the Pokemon's IVs, then dividing by 45. And this shows how efficient your Pokemon really are in battle. So basically it's not all about CP anymore. A 500 CP Growlithe with 0 attack will be weaker than a 400 CP Growlithe with 15 attack. So you're probably wondering how in the world can I even find out my Pokemon's IV? Well, initially people started logging in into a certain third party applications for exact IVs, but Niantic themselves have introduced their own system called the appraisal system to classify how strong your Pokemon really are. In also doing that, they have shut down that third party website. Essentially what the system does is that it has your team leader inspect your Pokemon and indirectly tell you how strong they are. So let's see exactly how this works. Let's look at this chart here. We're going to need to look at this chart when explaining what happens when you use the appraisal system. Certain team leaders say different things, so while I'm going over the sayings in this video, look at your team leader and what he is or she is saying so that you can see exactly what IV your Pokemon is. So there are two sections to the appraisal system, hence the reason why there are two sections on the chart. The first thing that they say after you pick your Pokemon is talking about the overall stats of the Pokemon. If they have an IV of 82.2% to 100%, they would say, Overall, your Pokemon is a wonder. What a breathtaking Pokemon. For Team Mystic. For Team Valor, it would be, Overall, your Pokemon simply amazes me. It can accomplish anything. And lastly, for Team Instinct, they would say, Overall, your Pokemon looks like it can really battle with the rest of them. This continues for each IV percentage. Since I'm Team Mystic, I'll be naming Team Mystic's appraisals for now on. So make sure to refer to the chart if you aren't in Team Mystic. So if the IV is between 66.7% to 80%, the team leader will say, Overall, your Pokemon has certainly caught my attention. And if it's from 51.1% to 51.1 to 64.4%, the team leader will say, Overall, your Pokemon is above average. And if it's from 0 to 48.9%, the team leader will say, Overall, your Pokemon is not likely to make much headway in battle. So far this is the first side of the coin when it comes to appraisals. So far we only know about the estimated IV percentage of the Pokemon. The next line that your team leader says talks about which of the three IVs are the strongest. So again, the three IVs are attack, defense, and stamina. So if I had 13 attack, 10 defense, and 2 stamina on a Pokemon, the team leader would say that its strongest stat is its attack. Then it would go on to describe the most powerful stat. If the stat has a value of 15, the team leader will say, and remember I'm saying Team Mystic from now on, its stats exceed my calculations. It's incredible. If the value of the strongest uh, IV is 13 to 14, the team leader will say, I am certainly impressed by its stats, I must say. If the value is from 8 to 12, it would say, its stats are noticeably trending to the positive. And finally, if the stats from 0 to 7, it would say, its stats are not out of the norm in my estimation. Now sometimes the team leader will say the attack is the same as its defense or she he or she would say its defense is the same as stamina or the other way around. When it says this it actually helps out so much to find the exact IV of your Pokemon because then you can use a tool that I'm going to be introducing to you soon that will tell you an estimation of the IV of your Pokemon and then through the process of elimination you'll be able to determine the exact IV of your Pokemon. So the system that I've been talking about is literally what Niantic have been offering to us. But this system alone should give you enough information but at the same time it won't give you the exact information that you need. 
such as maybe you would have a problem that you have two Pokemon that are the exact same terms of the IV range and they, deter they differ in CP by just a little bit. So how do we find the IVs exactly? Well, we're going to need to visit a website called PokeAssistant.com. I'll link it in the description. Basically, you enter the Pokemon's name, its CP, its HP, and the amount of Stardust needed it to power it up. You look at the appraisal system also and see which stat of that Pokemon is the strongest. Its attack, stamina, or defense. Whichever one is said, check the box for whichever one it says. Then look at the chart and see which IV value the IV is and put it in the website as well. You can see how I have done this with my Snorlax. There's only one result, which tells me exactly the IV of the Snorlax that I have. So using this website, you can determine the exact IV that you need. The reason the IV is so important is because it helps loads when you're at the gym. Honestly, what would be the point if you had a 3000 CP Dragonite if it only had one attack? You wouldn't be able to win in gyms with it, so this is why IV is so important. It's good that Niantic have implemented this system so that we trainers could easily determine which Pokemon need to stay and which ones should go. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of the video. I advise you to like it if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those notifications for immediate updates. Other than that, I'm out, guys. Peace.